Mm. Wow. You're definitely going to watch how this turned out. You ready? Let's go. So today, we're gonna to be doing something a little bit simple, but also fun. We're doing baby back ribs. And this time, I'm gonna be brining this in some pineapple juice, as well as smoking it on the rotisserie, which I've never done before on the Blaze Kamado. So let's get into it, and let's see how this turns out. All right, first things first, get my ribs out of the vacuum seal pack. Now, you know, there's spare ribs and there's baby backs. I can go either way depending on the circumstances and what's going on particularly uh, for that day. I just wanted to, these are on sale, part of the reason why I'm using them uh, as opposed to some spare ribs, but I also felt like this would just work better for this uh, experiment so to speak. As you can see I'm just essentially using a uh, little bit of a butter knife to pull up inside of this membrane, so I'm going to be pulling this off. Feel like it's necessary not just for the brine aspect of it too but also when you get into the smoke aspect but as you can see once you get into the middle of that it's real easy all you do is just pull up you get both sides wham bam and it is done now i'm gonna trim this up a little bit like i said i'm gonna get this into a back into a bag seal it up but i'm gonna have some pineapple juice as well as along with some other seasonings that I'm going to be posting down in the comments or down in the description below just so you can see it and then like I said I'm gonna let this marinate overnight and then we'll get cooking with this in the morning all right so now it comes the fun part let's make this pineapple brine for these baby back ribs of course first things first definitely using some pineapple juice should be good I'm gonna throw a little teriyaki in this time, just, I don't know, if I want to do. Next, I'm gonna throw in a little bit of uh, garlic powder, not a whole lot. Next, I'm gonna throw in some dark brown sugar, not a tablespoon, a couple tablespoons. And then, uh, also gonna throw in some of this Kentucky kick. Maybe a little bit more. And then last but not least, I'm also going to throw in some of this Taichung. Um, I've been using this for a while. It's, I'm not a big fan of salt, so and this one's got so, sodium in it, so I'm going to use this instead of salt. Uh, it's going to hopefully give it a little bit of a flavor. It's got that little citrus bite on it too. So we'll try this out in the brine. We'll go ahead and get it in the stove top and get it boiling get it cooled off and then we'll put these ribs in right, so i got these baby backs in this huge ziploc bag with that pineapple brine i cannot wait to get this going tomorrow should be fun let's hope it turns out we'll see how it goes this is the day we're going to be doing this pineapple brined baby back ribs on the rotisserie as you can see i've kind of got it tied on there i'll get in a little closer so you can see how this looks but basically i've got this tied in three different spots um, basically the three different specs on the back so you can see how that works we're going to get this on to the uh, blaze kamado and uh first thing first i'm gonna go ahead and get this seasoned up with that uh kentucky kick it's one of my favorite seasonings to use uh it's got a nice smoky flavor to it but you use whatever you want on your ribs and uh, like I said, the reason I'm using this rotisserie is just honestly because I wanted to. Uh, I have the capability. I've never done ribs on a rotisserie. And to be honest, I thought it would be fun. So we'll see. Uh, one of those things, you know, you get a chance to try it out. You just want to do it, right? So that's what I'm doing. So got that all seasoned up. Let's go get this over on the rotisserie. Get these baby back ribs rolling. Definitely curious to see how this all turns out. All right, so as you can see, I got this going. Over here, I got the Prime 6 charcoal. I also got a couple of chunks of peach wood in there, so definitely looking forward to that. I'm gonna throw on some of those bourbon chips here in just a minute. But as you can see, I got this uh, rack of ribs essentially tied to the rotisserie, uh, basically at three different points. 
so the rack of ribs can turn along with it. I'm just real curious to see how this turns out. Usually rotisserie does pretty good with a lot of different meats and I'm hoping it does the same thing for these baby back ribs. So let's keep it rolling, see how it goes. And like I said, hopefully it turns out really good. All right, as you can see, those ribs are coming along. I also just threw uh, some of that uh, smoke your own bourbon wood chips down there. <clears throat> so uh, yeah. Coming along nicely, the uh, old rotisserie little trick is working. Uh, so I'm curious, you can already see there's already some bone pull on these two, so I'm certainly curious to see how it all turns out. Still got a ways to go, but you know, so far so good. And like I said, I am definitely curious to see how this all turns out. So, should be a good one. All right, so these ribs are coming along nicely. Yeah, of course, in this situation, I'm not wrapping or anything. Uh, as you can see, I got some of this uh, kakalaki uh, barbecue sauce, which is made with cheer wine. I really like it. So I'm just going to basically start basting this because we're right now we're at one, around 188, 192, somewhere in that range. And like I said, I didn't, I'm not wrapping these obviously. Uh, I'm not going to do anything of that sort. Just straight up rotisserie and uh, some barbecue sauce. We'll see how these turn out. So there is some complications which I'll go over with later with using the rotisserie, at least in this manner, but you know, it was still a fun experiment and I think the pineapple brine most certainly worked on this. And I think you'll see from the tenderness on these and just how well they turn out. Um, I'm definitely excited to see how they look when it's all said and done, but uh, I think you're gonna see some amazing color as well as just flavor from these they're definitely tender um, I can tell from just the pro on these going really in and out very easily so yeah let's get the rest of this finished up and uh, like I said see how it goes I've already pro tested these ribs and I'm telling you right now we're already at the 200 mark actually a little over 200 so I'm gonna go ahead I'm going to probably pull these off because it's getting late and obviously I want to eat. But yeah, so far so good on these ribs. Definitely um, happy with how they look so far and how they seem to feel. And I'm excited to see hopefully the flavor is as good as I imagine it will be. Uh, only time will tell, right? But uh, stay tuned. Cheers. Right, so the ribs are done. We're going to go ahead and cut into them. And then I'll show you what they look like and then we'll do the taste test. Look at that. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, I'm hoping you can see this. Obviously this has a pretty nice smoke ring to it. So that's good. Um, definitely looks juicy. Um, certainly looking forward to seeing how the bite comes out on this though. So I'll go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and just Slice that one off real quick. Let's taste it. All right, so you can see those bad boys, smoke ring on them, really good. Uh, definitely one of the most tender pork ribs that I've done in a very long time. Obviously, I think part of this is attributed to the brine, obviously. Uh, if I didn't believe that, I wouldn't say it. So, let's get into it. Check it out. Literally, it just pulls away from the bone. It's not so tender where it's fall off the bone, but literally if you stick your teeth into it, and I'm barely biting, it's coming right off. So, the results are in. The pineapple brine certainly worked. Uh, I'm not saying I can taste any flavor to the pineapple at this juncture, but it definitely helped make these ribs uh, tender. Obviously, I love the kakalaki sauce in there. Uh, the rotisserie, uh, if I had to go back and do it again, I would do some things a little bit differently to keep it more stable. What I found is as it was rotating, uh, basically it had some slippage from time to time, causing the ribs to kind of get out of balance. But even with that being said, it still turned out good. Next time I know how, I'll approach it a little bit differently by anchoring in those uh, specs a little bit more so it kind of holds those in there. But other than that, 
I think it's going to turn out, I think it's going to be, uh, it's definitely a fun experiment for sure. I appreciate you turning in. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Uh, don't forget to hit me up in the comments, especially if you have any questions. And again, as always, good cooking.